And now we're going to look at more agents using large language models, seeing how we can now create a more complex agent that makes use of chat history, uh, RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation, and tools, so using a search engine so that it can go and find the most latest information. We're using these to augment the capabilities of the large language model to answer questions about LangChain because LangChain changes very rapidly. And I know I always have to, I, I've not even run this course through one entire semester yet, and I've had to already update for breaking changes in LangChain. So it can be, it can be tricky keeping track of it can be tricky for the large language model to keep track of all these latest changes that have certainly not made it into its foundation model. So the code that we're going to use here, I am using two API keys. The first I do suggest you do need for this course, that's your OpenAI API key, that is going to let you access OpenAI to access their large language models because that is, that is what we use for this course. And then there's also a search engine called Tavily. Tavily is a search engine for large language models. It's for them to use. And this, this requires that more advanced search than DuckDuckGo like we use for some of them. I recommend you using DuckDuckGo for the assignment uh, and, and the sample code that I will give you is, is all set up for that. But you're not required to you to apply for and, and get a Tavily API key. They do have a free version of it that gives you, I think, 100 searches per month. So we're going to construct the agent. We're using GPT-40 Mini, and we're using a pretty low temperature so that it's not overly creative. We want it to be accurate over, over creative. And we're going to use Retrieval Augmented Generation to basically get access to the latest documentation for LangChain. And we're loading that from a web location where LangChain gives us access to it. And by the way, this example is based very much on a LangChain example showing how to how to get their how to teach the LLM to answer their very latest. We're using pretty standard chunking sort of strategy for this. So here we are telling it that the retrieval tool, this is a LangChain LangSmith search, which is something that is that's a tool that they make available, LangChain does. And search, what the tool does is it searches for information about LangSmith. For any questions about LangSmith, you may use this tool. And we'll use Tavily for that. And Tavily, it's a search, so we can, we can search for the very recent information, like what is the current weather in SF, San Francisco. And we're going to use this prompt. We've used it a number of times before. It's just the standard LangChain prompt that is utilized for agents. Agent Executor is ready to use the tools that we are providing it with. And now I can I can just test it. I can say hi, and it says hello. How how may I assist you? Typical robotic answer. And then I ask it something like, how can LangChain help with testing? And it gives me a whole bunch of information about how LangChain can help you to test your, or LangSmith can help you to test your LangChain modules. Now we can also add in memory. You can see we're doing this. So this lets you have sort of that conversation with it because maybe you asked it about some information in LangSmith and it answers you, but you, you need to double down on that, refine that, that question. So now we do this, we do the agent with history and we, it, it, is, it is basically going to make use of a chat message history. And I tell it, hello, um, I'm Jeff. You have to give it a session ID so that it doesn't lose track of, of you. And it says, hello, Jeff. And you can see then that it, um, when, it, when I ask it things, it can remember, it can ask that. And then when I ask it who I am, it still remembers that I'm Jeff. And it will sometimes refer to me as Jeff as it's doing things like that. And it'll also remember context from what you've asked it so that it can 
it, it can refine its searches and give you better information based on what you've already asked it before. Now, of course, this memory only lasts for this current session. You'd have to persist the memory, which I do show you how to do earlier in the course if you wanted just this ongoing forever kind of conversation. Those can get expensive because sometimes your, your, your context window can grow large, unless, unless you're constraining that, certainly. So this is a more complicated agent. It's using RAG, it's using search, it's also using the uh, a chat history. So thank you for watching this video and please like if this was useful and subscribe to the channel so that you can see all the new things that I am adding in the areas of machine learning.